Hi Aquarius, welcome to your July. How they feel? Next move in Love Messages Tower reading. So we're looking at the person on your mind, whoever you're thinking about, no matter your situation or circumstance, and you just want to know right now, how are they feeling? What are their next moves? And what do they want to tell me along with love messages? All right, Aquarius, so we have the Energy Oracle here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump to your reading. But welcome in Aquarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tower. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. July, how they feel. All right, let's see what we got going on. Appreciation, 15-6 which is a healing balance energy. This definitely gives me divine feminine energy, so they really appreciate you and uh, see you as a divine counterpart. Blossoming abundance, three, growth and expansion. Well, they, I feel like this is a newer connection and they really feel good about this, like this could really go somewhere. But let me get these out before I jump the gun and the energy switches. Well, we do have the energy of love. Look at that, 49, which is 13 which is four, stability and foundation. Ooh, okay, let this be a good card. Angel of Balance, 48, which is 12, which is three, growth and expansion. Wow, there's love blooming here. I kind of see a lot of pink energy here, which gives me new energy. So this is definitely somebody new in your life where if you're just dating them or whatever the case may be. So this could be a case of you're dating and uh, you're wondering, okay, how are they feeling? Where's this going to go? Well, the, I see a really good balance of energy. I see the love blossoming, blossoming abundance, blossoming love, great balance, and a real appreciation, seeing you as a divine counterpart, if it's divine feminine, masculine, whatever here. And that appreciation, the divine feminine energy, does give birth to new beginnings. This looks really good here. Uh... Aquarius. Now that gives me divine feminine energies, which would be the Empress, which would be Libra Taurus, Angel of Balance. Gives me uh, temperance energy, or it could be justice too. So that would be Libra or Sagittarius. But let's see. Let's see. All right, let's get into the tarot. We have the Gilded Tarot here. So we're going to do your reading here and see what's going on. All right, Aquarius. How are they feeling? about Aquarius right now. How are they feeling? Also at the end we have another deck for the love messages. Right Aquarius. How are they feeling about Aquarius right now? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. They're ready to give up their independence and their singlehood for you. <laughs> Knight of Wands taking action. Hierophant. Oh my gosh. The thing about commitment already? What the heck? Nine of Swords. A little stress anxiety here three of swords oh i don't like that oh, what would be next here two of swords huh i'm almost feeling like judgment after that is this person like already made up their mind that they want this to be a commitment already is this like a really early in the early stages of a connection like somebody you're dating Have you only dated like three times? Three to six times and they're already, they want to move this. I'm not talking about marriage, but I mean, the heart of it is in the next level up. Coming in, you know, very determined here with the Knight of Wands. They're a little nervous about getting their heart broken. Like Knight of Pentacles ready to give up their singlehood. You know, because technically if you're just dating and you're not, okay, we're not solidified as a committed relationship, you're, you're still single. So this person is like, I'm ready to give up my single. I want to come in hot and heavy here. I want this to go into the next level of the relationship. But they're a little stressed here that they may get their heart broken maybe. Maybe they're not sure if you feel the same way. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So we got Sag, Taurus. Let's see what's on the bottom. Star. Feeling like wish about... Oh my god, look at this. The star is Aquarius. That's you and the lovers. And the queen of wands. And the ten of pentacles. Oh my god. And the queen of pentacles. Some of you would say sex. Um, Long-term energy here. Commitment. Stability. Next level. 
the fire, the passion, the attraction, in the intense connection here with the lovers and the star, divinely guided. They feel like this is so meant to be here with the star and the lovers that they're ready to move this up to the next level, but they're maybe a little worried that maybe you're not feeling the same. Obviously, if you're watching this and you want to know, <laughs> there you go. All right. So let's see, Aquarius, how else they're, what else about how they're feeling for you? For Aquarius, please. How else, uh, what, oh my gosh. What else? How they're feeling towards Aquarius. What else do we need to know? All right, let's see. I mean, the Hierophant definitely is a big leveling up here. Big time. All right, let's see. Oh my God, the Ten of Cups. I feel like they, they feel the happiest they've ever been with you in a connection. Two of Wands, they're making a choice. They know what they want. A long-term energy is showing up again. There's the Empress. They definitely see you as an Empress right there, Aquarius. Page of Swords, but they haven't told you yet. Oh my God, Page of Swords reversed. They haven't told you yet. Like I said... You're like, this is the happiest they've ever been in a relationship. You're like the whole Ten of Cups, the whole Nine Yards, Two of Wands. They're looking at this like, I, I know what I want. Two Tens here of full circle, of completion. They feel complete with you too. It's like, I want this. I want this with Aquarius. But maybe they haven't told you yet. Queen, uh, Page of Swords is Aquarius. We have Libra Taurus again. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Four of Cups. Should I offer that cup of the next level? I just don't know what to do here. But I want to come through as very sincere, loving, nurturing, giving. Uh, about this brand new beginning in love. Oh my goodness. Eight of Cups. They're not going anywhere. It's in reverse. They already made up their mind. Judgment card here. Wow. This person's already made up their mind about you, Aquarius. And they want, they definitely want this like long term, next level. But they haven't told you that yet because I think they're wondering if you want the same thing. All right. Okay. So let's see, Aquarius, what their next moves are going to be. For Aquarius, please. What are their next moves towards Aquarius? Let's see. Oh my God, the two of cups. Are you kidding me right now? Holy Moses. All right, let's see. Seven of Pentacles, they're figuring it out. Like, I feel the connection, I know what I want, I'm assessing the whole situation. King of Cups, I have a lot of love for Aquarius, I maybe haven't told them, maybe no one said I love you yet. This could even be about them expressing that they love you too, it could be just about that. Oh my God, the Emperor and the Empress are on top of each other, I can't right now. Oh my God. Okay. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, they haven't had the cards to come forward and say it yet, especially if it's, if it's, I mean, I don't, I mean, three dates isn't really a lot here, but maybe they were long dates. I don't know. I mean, we have another three up there too. So um, three to six dates. I don't know, because we have a three and a six. 15 would be six up over there. The first two cards out. Um, and they're feeling like, yeah, were they three six hour dates? I don't know. <laughs> Six three hour days. I don't know. Anyway, I'm being silly now. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of love here. So they're assessing the situation about the intense connection they feel. Divine counterpart energy, and they're nervous about telling you that. Is this person very spiritual? But I mean, we do have the Emperor and the Empress. There's no getting around that. And the King of Wands reverse is, you know, they're just lacking maybe a little bit of cards to come forward and say, first, is it too soon? But they don't feel the same. But I want to. So we're going to get more here. So let's see. We have Pisces, Aries, Leo. Oh my God. And now the lovers. Queen of Wands, which is a match to the king. But it's about getting. They're wondering if the chemistry, the attraction, everything they're feeling. Is it at the same level between the two of you? Are you both feeling the same? So they're wondering, is it a vibrational match at the same level right now? Or should I come forward and say something? five of pentacles but they're feeling like 
a little bit of lack here because it's not being expressed. Six of Cups. Could be children involved. Could be children involved. I feel like it's a newer connection though. So Five of Wands reverse. So if there's any worry about past interfering for any reason, I didn't get a lot about that. But Six of Cups can be things of the past. So if there's known past history, like on their end, your end, and worried about, oh my God, what if that interferes? Especially if you haven't gone in depth or you don't know a lot about their past or vice versa, but you know a little bit, but then maybe some things were said and you're like, oh my God, well, what if that comes in and interferes in this connection and I'm a little worried about that. I would say no, because we'd have a Six of Cups with the Five of Wands reversed. I would say no. The lover's here. I can't get over this. Aquarius. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, now the Ace of Pentacles. Holy crap. Holy, holy crap. Yeah, they're holding back the Ace of Pentacles, but that's what they want. Something that could go long term, that's all a new beginning. Okay. Let's get more on their next moves here. Four Aquarius. Let's see. Four Aquarius. Let's see. More on their next moves here for Aquarius. What else do we need to know? The moon. There's a little bit of fear, unknown. Yeah, about offering that Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So they're going to take their time. I think they're just going to take their time, ride it out, see what happens, see how the energies flow um, as well. But yeah, they know exactly what they want. The sun on the upper and the empress, but they're a little nervous about coming forward with that already. But the sun is knowing exactly enlightenment, growth, expansion, healing, love, abundance, everything positive. Queen of Swords, but they want to tell you, Aquarius. That's a Libra energy for me, but it could be you, but they definitely want to tell you everything they're thinking, feeling, wanting. But I think before they do that, they're just going to kind of ride it out for a little bit longer. Uh, we are coming into Leo season very soon in like a little over a week. So they may just ride it out a little bit more. Um, right now we're in Cancer season. Um... Something about Leo season here, but Leo season, I feel like this person is really going to make that move and say, okay, you know, I love you or whatever the case may be. I want to be in a relationship with you, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow. So let's see. We got Libra, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Six of Cups, Ten of Wands. I mean, there could have been something in someone's past that was really weighing someone down. But Page of Wands, yeah, there's that good news. Like, they're ready to share this with you. Oh, totally open, vulnerable, no blocks here. And look at that. Strong connection, strong, courageous, and brave. Cannot be denied. Exciting new beginning. And they're all in. They're all in. Four of Wands here. Queen of Pentacles next. Wow. They're 100% all in. They already made up their mind, like I said. Judgment here. They're 100% all in. And maybe they have, just haven't told you yet. I think they're just going to let it, like I said, in another kind of Leo. So there's something here about, you know, Leo season. Again, the strong connection cannot be denied. Wow. Okay, Aquarius. <laughs> wow. This person knows exactly what they want. But they're just going to kind of, you know, like I said, not rush it. Just going to go with the flow. This Knight of Pentacles does cross the finish line. And when the time is right, bam. It's like, okay, be my person. Be my one and only. Be in a relationship with me. Be committed to me. Let's do this. I'm all in 100%. These are, this is a fantastic reading. It almost feels like a fantasy, like too good to be true. <laughs> all right. I mean, somebody could have been divorced in the past. I mean, we do have the Queen of Swords here. King Queen of Swords, like my divorce couple of the deck, but um, if someone has been divorced in the past, I don't see that coming back to haunt anyone and not holding anyone back either. So that's really good. All right. So let's see um, what they want to tell you. And also, Aquarius, if you do like this or is resonating, please do like, comment, all the good things, great things, be greatly appreciated. What do they want to tell you? I'm ready to move this love forward. Knight of Cups, I'm all in, like I said. 
three of cups we're just dating right now but i want this to move forward uh into something deeper i'm holding back just a little bit right now just holding back i have a little fear about you know coming forward so soon but i'm ready to sp oh, look i can right now the king queen of swords on each other oh my god you got the emperor and the empress right there a match both upright and now you have the king and the queen of swords on each other i wish you could see me right now because i'm like holding my head i'm like in shock right now i mean you do have the king of wands and the king of cups some definitely at same sex um not that it matters because i definitely you know i don't say oh this is all you know but whatever um wow was it king of swords king of wands king of cups missing like the king of pentacles i mean that would be the divine masculine but we have them here anyway so and we do have uh the moon and the sun that is the masculine feminine energy too just like the emperor and the empress that is crazy so we have scorpio capricorn gemini let's see what's on the bottom what else i want to say fool i'm ready to jump all in 100 percent. i'm ready to take that leap right now right now you're my wish fulfillment happiness and joy two of pentacles you know i'm juggling around when to come forward and and tell you this but i'm just kind of retracting my energy right now but i know exactly what i want and the love here is too good to be true and i just want this to move forward i just want this to move forward wow ace of swords you know clarity truth communication i just did see uh the ace of wands too exciting new beginning uh, look at that four ones yeah they, they got commitment on their mind there's the queen of pentacles stability foundation so we didn't have the king of pentacles um what's up behind this we will watch them right yeah they're ready to move this forward wow big time justice so they're going to give you everything you deserve in this and they're so ready for it this is you aquarius the fool oh my god <laughs> i can't with this reading this feels like a fairy tale all right okay aquarius so let's see uh what else i want to tell you love messages also aquarius um my website's below everything you absolutely need to know is on there as well as in the description box so check it out if you like to all right aquarius so holy moses what love messages do we have for aquarius what love messages do we have for aquarius let's see Commerce a bitch i finally got mine huh yeah what i feel like putting that back so I, what why is that here i feel a special bond with you i've never felt before yeah you know what it is it's not bad karma it's good karma this is such such a good karmic re connection and they're like oh my god i finally got something that's good in my life okay so i'm like what <laughs> I, I, that's how I'm reading it. I don't because I, I don't even see how that would fit in here. But let's see. I look at your picture often now. They can't stop thinking about you. Oh my God, Aquarius! Right, this one wants to pop out. You're all I've ever wanted. They don't want anyone else but you. Definitely, we've seen that all over. This songs are speaking to me. So I don't know if you had a special moment. Maybe you went out dancing for one of your dates. Dance to some songs. That's all they think about. They got caught up in the moment. Hmm. The thought of you does things to them. So, wow. It's like they like the deck can't even find the right cards to express how they're feeling because some of these don't even make sense. So, <laughs> because this is such an awesome connection here, and they're ready to go. They're one hundred percent all in already. Aquarius. Wow. I'm just feeling like hmm anyway 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 that's what i have for you aquarius so i do hope that helped that resonated again everything you need to know is down below i am wishing you the best and i do hope to see you next time